starting with the win overall, what do you think was the key to handling the pressure of this playoff push, being on the road in hostile territory to the group as a whole? I don't even really think it's pressure. I mean, right now we just got to play and just be free out there. I feel like we play with a lot of confidence and we move the ball. We just... You know, we're just imposing our will and it started on defensive end, you know, start off to an 8-0 run and just built on that. How much fun were you having out there tonight with all those threes involved? A lot of fun. I can't lie. A lot of fun. It's, um, you know, I love this game of basketball. I really do. And um, I've been playing since I was four years old. And so it's always been a dream of mine to, you know, play in the NBA. And so now I'm just being grateful by just giving it all I got. What has B.I. meant to you in your career? A lot. No, a lot. I mean, I've looked up to B.I. since I was probably in ninth grade because he was, um, you know, one of the best players in North Carolina, being, you know, where I'm from. And, you know, to have him as a teammate and have him as a guy that trusts me. And, you know, I look at him as somebody I look up to for working out and all that different stuff. And so, you know, it's, I'm just really grateful to have him as a teammate. And Herb tonight, battling through that nasty blow to the head, playing with one awkward one eye. Does that set the tone for the team? Absolutely. I mean, Herb is going to be Herb, and he's going to do all the necessary little things in order to, you know, help us win games. And honestly, like, our offense got started by, you know, Herb's defense, and, you know, that was really important for us. And, you know, he's just going to be himself, and it's just what we need for our team to win. No, he's doing a great job. I mean, he's being that leader, that superstar that he can be. Um, you know, he can appreciate he can appreciate, you know, his shooters for getting him assists and stuff. But um, you know, I just know he's a great player and he's definitely showing that right now. And for you, I mean the fact that <clears throat> you know, you've kind of done everything you talked about, getting those three pointers up, uh, just what's been the key for you just kinda of upping that part of your game? Just being aggressive. I really think that's the main thing and finding open spots, you know, just changing up the variety of threes because at the end of the day, I'm not going to get a ton of just catch and shoot naked threes. So um, being able to go off the move and shoot it, have some off the dribble and shoot the wall, there's just ways to make it uh, harder for the defense to, uh, you know, stay with me. And after that, those Lakers and Rockets losses, that was a time where things could have gone either way for you guys. What was the key to just making sure y'all went down the right path? Just understanding the urgency, but also not panicking. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, adversity will show the character of the team. And we just kept pursuing and kept being us, and we understood it was go time. Which three-pointer number did you lay your heart on? Um, probably the first one, honestly. Like, I just know, like, in all honesty, what it was. There was a little bit of chirping from the Clippers bench, and – um. It just brought the competitive nature out of me. And so every time I hit a shot, I would just make sure I look over there, let them know I'm still cooking. So. <laughs> Only me and, me and him, though. So <laughs> that's about it. What's it like when you're making six, seven, eight? Like, is you just like you're throwing them up, not expecting to make it? Like, what is that like? At the end of the day, I'm staying shot discipline. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> Staying shot discipline and really just, you know, just following my, like, trusting my work. I, you know, I know what type of shooter I am, and I know the more I shoot, the more I'm going to make shots. So, really just staying consistent. You're the first Pelican to have nine plus three pointers in multiple games. Like, what's your mindset going into these things? And, like, do you know when you're about to just go off? Not exactly. At the end of the day, I, I'm going to play within the flow of the game because. I want to make sure I'm doing whatever my team needs to win. But also knowing, like, being aggressive and shooting the ball is going to help my team win. So it's definitely a balance. And um, there's definitely a little bit of chasing, you know, getting up shots and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm never going to try to do too much that will hurt the team. What's your mindset going into these last couple of games in regular season? Staying aggressive and understanding that we need all these games. Like, this is a really tight Western Conference race. And um, the best way to not worry about the other teams is win games. That's just bottom line. You guys have won. You have nine games since the first team. You're not playing games. What is it about this matchup that you guys like that works for you guys? Couldn't really, you know, point it out to you. I would just say we just game plan well and we execute it against them. Um, 
I won't even boil it down to, you know, we like a matchup or anything like that. It's just, we just playing. That's it. I know you brought it up on that. Um, in fact, back to what they said that y'all were, y'all speed gave them problems, um, especially early in the game. Uh, y'all don't, it doesn't seem like y'all play extraordinarily fast or win most games on the league. Is that something that you felt in the game that y'all were just in the half court and full court just much faster? Much faster, more oh, I felt it. I'll tell you that because I the first time out, I came back to the bench and I was like, "Woof, I'm, I'm getting a little tired." Like I knew we were playing at a real fast pace, but um, really, it's based off our defense. Like when we're getting stops and able to push and run, we're a pretty fast team. You know, we got a lot of young guys, a lot of good athletes, and so that would definitely um, wear down the team. I know you had that uh, franchise record circle. I told him he he got it for now, and I I should I should have did it today, but you know, it just gives me another opportunity to do it another time. So. I didn't even know it was a record for like the whole nine plus threes, and I didn't even know it. But I always wanted to get ten threes in a game. I had never gotten ten threes. Probably like the last time I got ten threes in a game was probably high school in AAU. So when I got to nine, I was I didn't know I had nine on, on the forty one game. I was like, dang, I should have got one more. And so not being able to get ten is a pretty pretty uh, big accomplishment for me. You referenced in that playing tournament game, we obviously missed the felt tonight, like you were having flashbacks to that with a couple of big threes and some big points. What is it about the Clippers matchup that you like personally? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I wouldn't say it's anything specific about them that I like um, within our matchup. I just think teams have to adjust to us. I don't really think it's us adjusting to other teams. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are threats on this team, and we play with a lot of passion and a lot of fight. And, you know, teams have to adjust to that. And, you know, tonight was just our night. Thank you. Thank you.